Hello, friends, and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Now, last time we got started on our very first adventures in actually smelting and using our anvil and making bronze. So we now have made some basic bronze tools. We still need to make a few more, though. Particularly, we probably need to still make a bronze pickaxe so that we can start finding some iron. But today, I'm going to go on some adventures and keep seeing if we can find a bit more resources. We need to get some limestone for lime because that's going to be a thing we're going to need pretty soon. The other thing we're going to need is salt so that we can start curing things here in the near future once we get our farm up and going. So it's not critical that we find salt today, but I do want to start spending some time with our prospector pick trying to find some of these various ingredients that we're going to need, as well as, if we get really lucky, a source of iron. So with no further ado, let's dive right in. Now, basically right outside our back door, I had previously found some limestone sand. Now, I don't know this game well enough to know whether or not we can use limestone sand for making our lime. So let's take a look here real quick. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can use the limestone sand to make our lime, but it, woo. but with any luck, we'll be able to find some limestone rock. Ah, that's what I figured right underneath. Perfect. Now, did I bring a high enough tier pickaxe to get of that? Yes, I did. Okay. So now that we have plenty of limestone, I'm going to grab up just, I think, a stack of these limestone stones, maybe two stacks. And we're going to hold on to that so that we can make a variety of different ingredients later. Again, primarily mortar and things like that that we're going to need here in the near future. So let's keep breaking that down. The other thing I'd love to find if I could is borax, but I don't think I'm going to find that today because we are not in the right location for that. Okay, so we are going to stop with that amount and I guess we can take the sand with us. It doesn't hurt anything. And we'll just nerd pull our way back up and out of our little quarry here that we've started to dig. There we go. Okay, great. Ooh, are any of these ripe spelt? No, none of these are ripe. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and add a indicator on the map, though, that we need to come back and get this. Ooh, what about these? Ooh, that's mature. Perfect. We'll take that and we'll take that. Flax? Oof. I'm getting real lucky here. Now, I had brought with me, just because I figured I would run out of room, my chest. And I have that on my back. So I believe if I can clear a spot for long enough, I should be able to put that down. There we go. And we can start filling this up with the various things that we have been collecting. So we'll just go ahead and put all this wonderful stuff in here and save that for later. Now, I did find a cave with some tin in it here, so I'm going to mine this real quick, but it's basically the end of the day now, and I think it's time to start heading back home since it's already five o'clock, basically, and that's just a little late for me to be out here mining. Now, I did mark this on my map, but let's go ahead and Grab ourselves a torch here. There we go. And make sure that we can see what it is we are doing. Okay. Just gonna grab this up real fast so we can get out of here. So one other thing we're gonna do before the sun goes down is we had been slowly panning for things out of our bony soil. We hadn't really been making much of a dent in it, but now that I have a bucket, I can go out here and grab up a full bucket of water, and now I can snatch back up that bony soil and pan for it at my leisure. So let's go ahead over here and grab all of this back up. I guess we can't do this one because it's only partial, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. 
but we'll take the rest of these and we will pan for these inside the house because we're going to put ourselves a little pool of water in there, which we're also going to use for quenching. So let's see, 20 blocks of bony soil. That is a pretty good amount to get back. And farm still looking good. Things are still growing, making some good headway here. Okay, looking good. So where should we make our puddle of water for standing in? Maybe we just do it in the side here of these furnaces like this. Let's try putting this down here. Nope. Okay, let's try this. I think we look down and there. Now we have an infinite water source. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and set our bucket back down. We're going to grab our pan up and I'm going to pan through this bony soil and see what we can find. So let's go ahead and sit here in the water, put some blocks down and get to it. Okay, so I have literally spent all night panning through 20 stacks, not 20 stacks, 20 pieces of bony, bony soil. And let's see what we've come up with here. Basically a lot of weird stuff. We have a bunch of nuggets here, uranium, peridot, fluorite, conundrum, kernite, phosphorite, and a rough emerald, but not in any considerable amounts. So we're just gonna drop these here into our extra stuff chest. Now we did get some arrowheads. We got some flint and some copper, some flax fibers, some copper chain, which I don't know what we're gonna do with that yet. A bony rib cage, which will be good decoration. A whole bunch of bones, some rusty gears, and a pair of books. Okay, so that was a pretty good haul. I'm gonna throw my pan down here. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit more adventuring today and see if we can't get a few more things here. Now, one thing I was gonna check out while I was out is we had found previously on our last exploration right here, a pine and we need pine to get resin. So I was gonna head out and see if I can't find a few more pine trees heading in that direction to start and see if there are any others around here as we go. Now, I'm gonna try and get at least one or more seeds off of that tree. I'm gonna chop it down. And with any luck, we'll be able to use that as a good starting point for a pine tree farm. Now, not positive that we're gonna get any seeds out of it, but we're at least gonna make an attempt. The other thing we're gonna be on the lookout for while we're out here, ooh, in addition to some tasty, tasty food, is of course going to be oak trees. But the oak tree we need to be able to cure our various leathers. So it's really important that we find ourselves some oak. Ooh, what are these? Walnut. Well, you're cool looking, but you're not helping me. That's also walnut. You know, if we got super lucky, we would find ourselves a forest. There's another oak. Okay, we're gonna chop that down. And then we might be able to find ourselves some bees as well. I would really love to find bees. Okay, here is pine. So do you have any resin on you? It doesn't look like any resin spots. So I'm gonna try and cut this down here. And should I just cut you down from the ground? I don't know if you're gonna give me any seeds if I cut you down from the ground or if I have to climb up, but I guess this is the way we're gonna find out the hard way. Let's see here. Did you only give me lumber? Yeah, it looks like we only got lumber that way. So that's a lesson learned the hard way. We're going to see if any of these other trees have any resin spots. And this time we're going to try and climb up there and get some of these branches first. Let's see here. What's that? Nope, that's not resin. Yeah, none of that is resin. Okay, well, easy enough. Let's grab up one of our pine logs here and we will just climb up right next to it.
And from up here, hopefully, some of these leaves that we cut down will give us a seed. Okay, well, we got 12 pine seeds. I guess technically they're pine cones, but whatever they want to call them, they can call them off of those three trees. So that'll be a good start to our pine forest adventures. Okay, so we are now back at our house. It's getting a little bit late, but we still have a few hours of daylight left. So I'm going to start using some of this time to cut down a bunch of these just brushy looking awful birch trees that are hanging out all over the place here to give myself a little bit more room. Once there's just a little more space here, I'm gonna start setting down what I think is gonna be the beginnings of our tree farm for these pine trees here. Again, the goal with the pine trees is number one, to get wood, but number two, to be able to get some resin off of them. So I'm going to continually planting them and cutting them down over and over again until we get a decent number of trees that do produce resin. So let's go ahead and grab our seeds here. And I think we're relatively far away from where our other crops and farms are going to go. And let's go ahead and put down like one here. And then I think, I'm not sure how much space we need to give these. I'm going to assume that this works like the other block game. I'm just going to give them three between each spot. Whoop. Now that's on top of Pete, but I don't think that actually matters for our purposes here. And let's just go over three more, two, three, four, and we'll put one more down here. And then we'll carry on doing the same thing in this direction. Okay, well that was relatively an unproductive trip. But I think I do want to do one last thing for the day, and that is I want to set up a quern. So now that we have a bucket of water, we can do a variety of things like make dough. And we can also make ourselves an andesite quern. Now, I think I have enough sticks here. And I had gotten a little bit of andesite with a mini quarry I set up. And now, with just four blocks that I've quarried, I can get this quern. Now, let's put this down, I don't know, over here somewhere, put it over there. So this allows us to take our grain and use it to make dough. Rice dough can be used to make rice bread, and that is a much better food for us. Ah, so you actually have to click on the bottom there. So we'll put the grain in there. And now we'll slowly turn it. And we're slowly but surely getting our flour out of that. It's taking a very long time. So some of the other grains, I think that you can actually use those to make into a crust for a pie. And the pies are really, really high in nutrients, I think, for us. So maybe we should try that real quick. Let's go ahead and grab up, let's use our rye. Let's take eight pieces of our rye grain and let's put that into the quern. Okay, there we go. We've got eight of our rice flour now, or rye flour. Now, to do anything with this, we are going to have to turn it into dough, but I don't want to do that just yet. And the reason is, is the dough we need to bake in an oven. Now, to make an oven, we need to find our fire clay here. And I hope this is enough fire clay for it. We need to make ourselves the clay oven. There we go. And if we run out, well, we'll just have to finish this tomorrow. But the clay oven is going to be what we use for baking all of our various food items that we want. So I want to get a head start on this as soon as possible here. Okay, well, we ran out of clay midway through, so we are going to take a quick sleep until those monsters go away and go out and get a little bit more fire clay so that we can finish this oven. Okay, well, it looks like not all of the bad guys have gone away yet, so we're just going to have to take care of these surface drifters. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come back here and take what you're getting. And nothing. Okay, well, that's fine.
And now we're gonna go and find us some fire clay. Now, there was a bunch here right near our house. So we're just gonna run over there and grab some of that real quick. Okay, and here is a bunch of fire clay that we found previously. So I'm gonna get up as much of this as I can. I'm hoping we'll come up with at least a stack. If we do more than a stack, that's great. Did you hear that? It definitely sounded like a wolf. Okay. We're going to have to keep our eyes out. There is clearly a wolf on the prowl nearby. Okay, we've got three stacks of it. I think that's a good starting point, but I may as well fill up while I'm here just to save myself on the time running back and forth. So I'm going to grab as much as I can carry, and then we're going to head back to the house. Okay, that is a lot of fire clay, at least enough to finish our work here. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. And hopefully then we will have our oven. Okay, and at long last, there is our clay oven. And it looks like this doesn't even need to be cooked. It just works and is ready to go. So there's our oven. And I guess now the only thing that we are missing is our water. So here's a bucket of water. Grab up some of that. And that is now an infinite water source. So we do have liters and liters of water. And then we just need to combine that with our flour. Okay, so to make anything with our dough, we first have to make a table because you actually have to put the dough on a table to make it into a pie, which is an interesting choice. I didn't know that previously, but I just learned it. So we need a place to put down a table. Maybe we just put it down right here. And now I think we should be able to take our bucket and yeah, there, we can make some rye dough. So we'll take one rye dough and I think we should be able to put it down on a table. Oh, we need two dough. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a second rye dough. Okay, there we go. We just needed to have room to put something on the table. Those racks were getting in the way. Now that we have this, we can add filling to it. So I think maybe, ugh, more rot. We might wanna make a fruit pie. What's gonna go bad quickest? Let's see here. Any of these about to go bad? Looks like that's gonna last a while. That's about to go bad. Cranberries. Those cranberries are going bad. So let's put these in. And then let's put these in if it'll let us. Okay, I think that's all that we can do. So now if we take our pie. Oh, we can add more crusts to it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our water and let's make a top for our pie because apparently we can do a top crust on it. And with a knife, we can change the style. Oh, Ooh. that's fancy. Okay, we're going to do this pie. Okay, great. So let's pick that up and we're going to put it in our oven. And then we need to give it something to cook. I think we can use peat in this, but I'm not sure. Do we have to put it in the firewood first? Let's see here. We are going to figure this out. Okay, our oven has now heated, I believe, enough for us to put the pie in. And there we go. It is now cooking. Now we just have to wait. Ah, uh, that's why. You need to put in the firewood first. So let's go ahead and put in, I think it's three to six pieces we have to put in there. And then we light that with our torch. There we go. Now that'll heat up and we're gonna let this completely heat up first. And once that's completely burned down, then we can put our pie in. So back in a second, once that is all burnt out. 
And there we have it, a fresh baked cranberry pie. And look at that, we're getting about 1800 saturation off of that. 1700, that is that is a lot. That is a very good pie. So we're gonna store this in here. We've got four slices and this clay oven is a wonderful, wonderful success for us. And now that we've gotten our cooking done, I think this is a good place to stop this episode. So thanks again for watching Enterprise Architecture and we'll see you back here next time. Bye friends.